One of the most dreaded consequences of getting old is joint pain. The cartilage in your joints breaks over time, leaving you with a life-altering condition called arthritis. Over 30 million adults in the United States already deal with it every day. Osteoarthritis, one of the most common types of arthritis, can be pretty challenging to live with. In today's video, we'll be talking about it in detail. What exactly is osteoarthritis? What are its symptoms and causes? From treatment plans to foods you should eat when you have osteoarthritis, we'll be talking about everything in detail. Stay tuned and watch until the end. What is osteoarthritis? See, joint pains are common among people, especially as we grow older. It can occur in any joint in your body, including the feet, knees, and spine. Chronic joint pain can be due to many reasons, but osteoarthritis is one of the more common causes. It occurs when flexible tissue at the ends of bones wears down. Cartilage is the flexible tissue that acts as a cushion between the bones of your joints. You can imagine how uncomfortable it will be to have that cushion worn away, leading to the bones rubbing together. It will cause you pain that may become unbearable with time if not treated properly. Osteoarthritis is one of the main causes of disability. Symptoms of Osteoarthritis Osteoarthritis symptoms vary from person to person. There are a few common symptoms, though, that can indicate the start of trouble. Do you feel stiffness in your joints? Especially in the morning or after periods of inactivity and rest. It could be a sign of osteoarthritis. If you have this condition, your joints might feel achy, rigid, and hard to move at times. Loss of flexibility and a reduction in the range of motion could be symptoms of osteoarthritis. When you press the affected area with your fingers, you might also feel it to be very tender. Pain in the joints is certainly a big indicator of osteoarthritis. If you hear any popping or clicking sounds when you move the joint, it's another indication of osteoarthritis. As osteoarthritis advances, you will find the pain to be more intense. Though swelling is more common in rheumatoid arthritis, people with osteoarthritis may also experience it. Bone spurs, or small bony projections, can be felt around your joints if you have osteoarthritis. They do occur naturally, but could also be your body's response to inflammation. Bone spurs aren't painful in themselves, but they can rub against a nearby nerve or bone, causing a lot of discomfort. People living with this condition also feel tired all day long. This is because they have to put an extra physical effort to carry out their daily tasks. Inflammation of the joints can also cause fatigue. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. Causes of osteoarthritis. Your joints don't get damaged all at once. They get affected over a long period of time. This is why old age is cited as one of the main reasons for osteoarthritis. As you get older, you put more strain on your joints. This causes the cartilage to wear down removing the protection at the end of the bones. As cartilage can't repair itself due to a lack of blood vessels, it causes the bones to rub against each other, causing pain. There can be other reasons for osteoarthritis. If you've had a past injury, such as a ligament tear or dislocated joint, it can result in osteoarthritis. Obesity is another cause of the joint condition. Because of the extra weight on the bones and joints, they get damaged over time, resulting in chronic pain. If a person is born with a joint malformation, they could end up with osteoarthritis. Poor body posture over a period of time can also cause your joints to bear undue stress. This will end up causing osteoarthritis. There are a few risk factors to consider if you want to know your chances of developing osteoarthritis. If any of your parents or siblings had osteoarthritis, there is a higher risk of you getting it. Women have a much higher chance of getting osteoarthritis than men. This is especially the case if you've undergone menopause. Your occupation could also increase your chances of getting this joint condition. If it involves a lot of kneeling or heavy lifting, it's more likely you will have to deal with osteoarthritis later. How is osteoarthritis diagnosed? It is often too late by the time osteoarthritis is diagnosed. It is a disease that develops slowly and is more prominent in your later years. Unless you start to feel pain or show some of the symptoms, 
it is not possible to diagnose the condition. Early detection of osteoarthritis is only possible in cases where you suffer an accident. For example, in case of a fracture, an x-ray is taken. It could reveal osteoarthritis. MRI scan can also help in diagnosing osteoarthritis. This scan can create images of your soft tissues and bones. Using it, your doctor can determine whether there's a chance of osteoarthritis. There are other diagnostic tests to find out the type of arthritis you have. A blood test is usually performed to determine if it's rheumatoid arthritis. Analysis of the joint fluid can help your doctor know if it's gout or an infection that's causing the inflammation. Treatment of Osteoarthritis Osteoarthritis treatment mainly revolves around managing your symptoms. The kind of treatment you will be prescribed more or less depends on what symptoms you are exhibiting and where they are located. For starters, you need to have a healthy sleep schedule and take adequate rest. It helps your muscles relax and reduces swelling or inflammation you may be experiencing. It's a good idea to try heat and cold therapy to relieve pain. You can use either a hot or cold compress and apply it on the joints that have been impacted. Do this for about 20 minutes a few times a day. Let's discuss some of the treatment options you have. Medications. You can use certain pain relievers such as Tylenol but they won't help in reducing swelling in the affected area. There are over-the-counter topical pain relievers such as creams, patches, and gels. These can help in reducing the pain, especially when it's a mild form of arthritis. Some non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, such as ibuprofen, can help relieve discomfort and reduce swelling. Depending on your symptoms, your doctor may prescribe corticosteroids that are available both in oral and injection form. Your doctor is very likely to suggest over-the-counter medications first to see if that approach can resolve the pain. If the results are not satisfactory, prescription drugs may become necessary. Weight management. Obesity can be a big factor in osteoarthritis. If you are overweight, it would be effective to try to lose some weight. It can help reduce the pressure on your joints and bring down the intensity of your pain. Being in a healthy BMI range not only helps with arthritis, but also other health conditions. It can reduce the risk of diabetes and heart disease. Exercise. If you're physically active, the muscles around your joints can get stronger. This can help relieve any stiffness. Make sure you get around 30 minutes of physical activity every day. This can include low impact activities, such as swimming and walking. Yoga can also help improve the flexibility of your joints and relieve some of the pain. Natural Remedies Certain alternative treatments might help manage the symptoms of osteoarthritis. Certain supplements, such as fish oil or green tea, can help relieve joint pain. Massage therapy and physical therapy can also provide a lot of relief. Acupuncture is another alternative treatment that's gained popularity. Before you choose any of the supplements or alternative treatments, it's best to check with your doctor. Only if they're safe and won't interfere with any medication you may be taking should you go for them. Diet. A study showed that some types of osteoarthritis, especially those that affect the knees, can be treated with a diet high in flavonoids. You can find flavonoids in many fruits and vegetables. There are also antioxidants in fruits and vegetables to help deal with the free radicals in your body. Wondering what free radicals are? Well, your body produces them either from normal cell metabolism or from external sources, like pollution, cigarette smoke, and medication. When free radicals accumulate in your body, it causes oxidative stress. Oxidative stress plays a key role in the development of chronic and degenerative illnesses such as cancer, cataracts, and arthritis. The amazing part is that your body fights this oxidative stress by producing antioxidants. These are either naturally produced in your body or sourced through food. This is why experts recommend eating antioxidant-rich foods, like blueberries, to help fight these free radicals. These free radicals are responsible for inflammation and damage to your cells. If you have osteoarthritis, your diet should include foods high in vitamin C and D, beta-carotene, and omega-3 fatty acids. Foods you can eat to help with osteoarthritis. 1. Oily Fish Do you love eating salmon salad? Got a taste for sardines? If not, maybe you need to find a way to get acquainted with the taste of oily fish because they are great for your health. 
People with osteoarthritis should try to eat at least one portion of oily fish every week. Besides salmon and sardines, you can include mackerel and fresh tuna in your daily diet. Oily fish are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids that have anti-inflammatory benefits. This is why oily fish is a great meal option for people dealing with osteoarthritis. If you still don't like the idea of eating fish, you can take supplements containing omega-3, like fish oil and krill oil. Looking for vegetarian options to get your daily omega fatty acid fix? Look no further than walnuts, flaxseed oil, and chia seeds. 2. Dark Leafy Greens Almost every list of healthy foods has one undisputed suggestion. Health experts strongly recommend including dark leafy vegetables in your daily diet. Whether you are trying to lose weight, boost immunity, or do a gut cleanse, dark leafy greens find their way into your healthy diet. And rightfully so. These antioxidant-rich vegetables are also great for people who have osteoarthritis. Dark leafy greens are a rich source of stress-fighting phytochemicals and vitamin D both of which are excellent for people recovering from arthritis. Your body needs vitamin D for calcium absorption, which means you get stronger bones. Vitamin D also boosts your immune system and helps your body fight off infections. So the next time you're grocery shopping, make sure you pick up spinach, kale, chard, or collard greens. If you dislike the idea of eating green salad every day, there are a few fun ways to include these super healthy veggies in your daily diet. First of all, you need to understand that not all green leafy vegetables make for a great raw salad. Watercress, kale, and baby spinach are excellent choices for that. You can also throw in some romaine and arugula for more flavor. My favorites are radish greens. Anyway, as I told you before, you don't need to rely on just raw salad to get your daily fix of veggies. You can easily add mild leafy greens, like kale or spinach, to your smoothies. Butter lettuce and collard greens work really well as tortilla wraps. You can fill them with cucumbers, tomatoes, feta cheese, and hummus. Roll it like a burrito, and there you have a nutritious meal ready for you. Adding dark leafy greens to your soup in the last few minutes of cooking is another way to sneak in more nutrition. Bok choy and Swiss chard are great options for this. 3. Oils What you cook your food in can have a lasting impact on your health. Instead of relying on corn, canola, or cottonseed oils, you should switch to healthier oils that are good for people with osteoarthritis. One of them is extra virgin olive oil, which contains high levels of oleocanthal. Wondering why that's important? It's a type of natural phenolic compound with impressive anti-inflammatory benefits. It is believed that the high levels of oleocanthal in extra virgin olive oil may have similar properties to those of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. You can also try safflower and avocado oils. 4. Dairy This one is a given. Dairy products like cheese and yogurt offer plenty of calcium and vitamin D. Both of these nutrients help to strengthen your bones, which lessens osteoarthritis pain. Another reason to get more dairy into your diet is that it contains protein, which helps build strong muscles. If you're trying to lose weight, make sure to stick to low-fat options. A word of caution, though. Milk and dairy products can trigger an inflammatory reaction in some people, which can make your osteoarthritis worse. 5. Green Tea How about a cup of an osteoarthritis-relieving beverage? Switching to green tea can be a good call if you're looking to find some relief from aching joints. It's because green tea is loaded with high levels of polyphenols. Polyphenols are a type of antioxidant that are great at reducing inflammation and slowing the rate of cartilage damage. Research shows dietary polyphenols have a positive impact on osteoarthritis. 6. Broccoli Broccoli may not be the first choice for you unless you have osteoarthritis. Research has found that sulforaphane found in broccoli can slow down the destruction of cartilage in joints. This could be a great help in finding relief from painful and often debilitating osteoarthritis. But how does this happen? Sulforaphane does this by blocking the enzymes that cause joint destruction. It involves stopping a key molecule known to cause inflammation. If you don't like broccoli, you can eat other sulforaphane-rich veggies like Brussels sprouts and cabbage. But remember, 
broccoli has the highest concentration of this osteoarthritis relieving compound. To get the most nutrients from broccoli, eat it raw or steamed. Cooking it over a high flame or frying it would lead to the loss of several amazing nutrients. You can saute it lightly or add it to your noodles and pasta. Broccoli soup ain't bad either. 7. Garlic Garlic bread, anyone? Garlic is a delicious addition to just about any savory dish. But what makes it even better is that it offers some amazing health benefits, especially to people living with osteoarthritis. Garlic, onions, and leeks contain a special anti-inflammatory compound called dialyl disulfide, which limits the effects of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Your body produces pro-inflammatory cytokines as a defense against disease-causing pathogens. Overproduction of them is harmful to your health and causes a number of problems, including triggering osteoarthritis. The anti-inflammatory compound found in garlic reduces the impact of pro-inflammatory cytokines, thereby helping your body fight inflammation. It also prevents cartilage damage from arthritis. Just a little tip though. The next time you go grocery shopping, pick up fresh garlic from the produce section of your market. Bottled garlic has preservatives added to it while processing, which may decrease some of its strength. 8. Nuts and Seeds Nuts and seeds are small packages that deliver huge benefits to people dealing with osteoarthritis. Some nuts, like walnuts, are rich in alpha-linoleic acid, ALA, which is a type of anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acid great for people who have arthritis. Nuts are also rich in magnesium, L-arginine, and vitamin E. All of these play a role in keeping inflammation under control. A diet high in these nutrients can keep inflammation-causing molecules under control. It would be best if you reached for raw, unsalted nuts. Besides walnuts, peanuts, pistachios, and almonds are also great options. Flax seeds and chia seeds, too, can feature in your diet. Foods to avoid if you have osteoarthritis. Just like there's foods that are great for your joints, there are some you shouldn't eat if you have osteoarthritis. The top item on the list is added sugar. It can worsen your symptoms. This means you have to limit your intake of sodas, ice cream, and cakes. Red meat and processed meats are linked to inflammation, so you should stay away from them. Research has found strong evidence that gluten could trigger inflammation. You might have to watch how much wheat, barley, and other cereals you eat daily. Highly processed foods and certain vegetable oils may worsen symptoms like knee pain. Diets high in omega-6 fatty acids and low in omega-3 fatty acids could make it difficult for you to manage osteoarthritis. You have to steer clear of foods high in AGEs. AGEs are advanced glycation end product molecules created as a result of the reactions between sugars and proteins, or fats. Foods high in AGEs include fries, mayonnaise, margarine, and American cheese. High-protein, high-fat animal foods that are broiled, grilled, fried, roasted, or seared also contain a high number of AGEs. Fried chicken and pan-fried or grilled steak are a no-go. Osteoarthritis is undoubtedly a difficult condition to deal with. It severely affects your quality of life. Maybe you can try ways to strengthen your cartilage, ligaments, and bones. Interested in knowing more about it? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Watch 5 Ways to Strengthen Your Knees, Cartilage, and Ligaments. You can also try our video on 11 Natural Ways to Build and Strengthen Healthy Bones. Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about strengthening your bones, muscles, and joints. Do you know anyone who has osteoarthritis? Let us know in the comments below.